Okay, I want to give an update for my traveling to Japan um, adventure. Uh, so I first, you know, got my passport and then um, I got a credit card. <laughs> um, and then now it's time for me to book my flight. So uh, I was first. So I am going with a friend and my friend informs me that they went ahead and booked their flight because the flights were going up in price. I was not ready to book yet, but I was like, if the flights are going up, I need to go ahead and book. I want to be on the same flight as them because it's my first international travel. I don't want to go by myself. So I um, booked the same flight as them, uh, which was like a thousand six hundred dollars and um which it was actually i'm in texas so you would think you would fly from texas to japan those flights were over two thousand dollars um but my friend's flight was cheaper so it was actually cheaper to me for me to fly from texas to louisiana than back to texas then to japan which makes no sense but okay fine it's cheaper so i have two separate flights then so i have one that flies from houston to louisiana and then the flight from louisiana to houston to japan okay fine you know that's good uh supposed to arrive in japan at 2 p.m well you have 24 hours to cancel your flight and the next day i went to check flights and i found a cheaper flight like only a thousand two hundred dollars versus a thousand six hundred and like seventy five so i was like hey there's a cheap i told my friend there's a cheaper flight the only difference is we would arrive at um 255 instead of two so i went ahead and switched my flight to save that like four hundred dollars because I could use that $400 to like buy food and stuff in Japan. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh boy, I am gonna be by myself on this flight. Um, so I was like, well, at least we would still, um, we would still be like in Houston together, but we would have um, different flights. But I told Asimia, who I'm going to go see, that I booked my flight and um, I asked one of the members, hey, if I land at 3 p.m. at Narita, will I make it to the event in time? Because I'm leaving the day, I was leaving the day before the event, but arriving day of the event and the member told me, it's, you know, you're probably not going to make it. So I was like, uh-uh, I'm not spending all this money to not make the event so i went to see if i could change the flight again um so i called the airline to see because i didn't want to screw this up i really want to go to japan so i called the airline and it told me you know this is a non uh, refundable ticket so you can't change it but I saw in the rules that you could cancel and get flight credit to book a new flight. And I said, with my flight, can I cancel this one and book a new one? She told me, yes, you can. And I said, okay, can I keep you on the phone while I do this process? Because this is super important. I don't want to mess anything up. And she said, yes, that's fine. So I cancel my flight. And then when I try to book the new flight, it wouldn't let me saying those flight credits are not available to use, um, to call customer support. And I'm telling her it's not letting me book the flight and she puts me on hold. I'm sitting there on hold for like 20, 30 minutes. And then someone else answers the phone. And is like, hey, how can I help you? I'm like, I was on hold with somebody else. And I explained the situation and they're like, those you can't do that you can't cancel that flight and use flight credits for a new flight and i was like she told me i could i was on the phone for over an hour i got transferred they nobody knew what the heck was going on they eventually hung up on me saying oh 
the last thing they told me was we will um, email you the certificate for you to actually book the flight you can't use it on the website like it is we're going to send you a physical like a, an email certificate that you can put in i was like okay and she said but this will take 72 hours and i'm like 72 hours by then the flight could be sold out or the flight could be more expensive so i am freaking out but they're no longer on the line i i'm just <laughs> I'm freaking out. I go to my parents just to tell them my situation. I now have no flight and no money and I have to wait 72 hours. I'm I'm not, this is not okay. My dad told me I shouldn't have canceled the flight. I should have just stuck with the flight. But that's why I personally called them to find out if it was okay. Apparently she was wrong because <laughs> she, I'm, I think she realized she messed up and then just transferred me to somebody else. Um, but my parents suggested, they're like, look, just try calling one more time. Because I was thinking maybe, you know, I'll just book another flight and just lose all this money even though I can't afford it, you know, because like maybe if I book another flight, I had the 24 hours to cancel it. Maybe I could do that before I got my credit, but my mom was like, just try calling one more time. So I call again and I explain um, the situation. I'm like, I was told I could cancel and use the flight credits. Tell me I can't use the flight credits. They're telling me I have to wait 72 hours. I'm like, I can't wait 72 hours. Can I just have my old flight back? And then the girl, the lady on the phone was like, well, what, what flight were you trying to book? So I can like look into this for you. So I told her the flight that I wanted to change to and she put me on hold. I'm like, not hold again. So while I'm on hold, I start chatting um, with the same company, the airline online. And that person was telling me there's no way I'm getting flight credits The 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 certificate that I was supposed to get in 72 hours, he's sorry, but there's been a miscommunication. And I'm just like, what the hell? No, no, no. No, you cannot. No, you can't tell me I just lost $1,200 and a flight. No, 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 no. Thankfully, the girl on the phone, she came off of hold and she was like, okay, I want to make confirm this is the flight you're trying to book correct and this is the flight that you canceled and blah I'm going through all the information and then she's like okay just I'm sorry but I gotta put you on hold and I'm just I'm freaking out okay and then finally I get an email saying your flight's been booked and she comes back and she's like okay I have booked you for the flight that you've wanted um and you have an extra hundred dollars credit for your next flight because the flight that I have found was actually another one hundred dollars cheaper. So now it's only a thousand one hundred. And I'm like, wait, 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 for real? It's actually booked. And she's like, Yes, it's booked. I was like, Can I can I check in my account to make sure it's there before you leave me? And she's like, Yes, go ahead and check. And I checked and it's there. This this took me six hours from when I started this process of finding out if I could cancel my flight to finally getting my new flight. Six hours. It took me from I, when I got home, I tried to change my flight as soon as possible because I know there's like time limits and stuff. So yeah, six hours of dealing with it. But thankfully, that last girl actually helped me. So now I am now landing at the other airport and I'm landing at a different time. And I've asked the member if um, if I fly to that airport and land at that time, will I make it to some? And he said, yes. So thankfully, I have a flight. I didn't lose my money. <laughs> and I should make it on time as long as I don't really have any delays. But this flight, instead of leaving on the 14th, I'm now leaving on the 13th and it's taking, it's going to take me two days. I still arrive in the 15th, on the 15th, which is insane. Um, I'm going to go crazy, but I'd rather go crazy from that than miss the event I'm trying to go to. Um, the other thing though is, uh, I had two separate flights. So my other flight was from Houston to Louisiana. Well, that one would arrive 
after my new flight leaves from Louisiana. So I need to now change this flight. So I'm like, okay, let me go and change this one. Can't. Non-refundable, non-changeable, you're stuck with it. I'm like, all I want to do is arrive earlier. Leave earlier and arrive earlier. Nope. Mm -mm. Can't. So I had to book a whole new flight. So I did end up spending $148 that I didn't need to spend. But considering my first flight was uh, almost $1,700, I think it's worth it because now total with my extra flight that I don't need, it's only... like a thousand five hundred so I still saving two hundred dollars about almost two hundred dollars so I you know what it's, it's whatever <laughs> next time I need to not rush and just buy flights like I really need to think it through um look at all the aspects and everything is uh that was so stressful but thank goodness I have my flight and I should make it so yeah, <laughs> next step of going to Japan. Uh, my next problem to figure out is my luggage because I don't think I have time to go from the airport to where I'm staying then to the event. I want to go straight from the airport to the event. So now I got to figure out what to do about luggage. Um. I have some a friend in Japan saying that like most of the time the luggage lockers are full so uh, I might have to take the luggage with me but then I have to find out if the venue will let me bring in my luggage because it's a small venue uh my mom suggested um just taking my backpack which I'm like you know what I could I could probably fit everything I need into my one backpack so uh, sometime I am going to try and pack everything I need to take into it and see if I can get it all to fit the only thing is if I want to buy anything it's got to fit in that backpack <laughs> but I think it'd be less of a headache than trying to figure out what to do with the suitcase so yeah <laughs> 